Welcome to aminacademy.com. Let us do some proof of De Moivre's theorem by using Euler's formula. Let y equal cos theta plus i sin theta let 1. Now differentiate with respect to theta we get dy by d theta equal minus sin theta plus i cos theta. Now take i common cos theta here and sin theta there is no i so write minus 1 over i sin theta. Now minus 1 over i is equal minus 1 over i rationalize the denominator that is i over i we get minus i over i squared is minus 1 therefore which is equal i so minus 1 over i is i let us substitute here dy by d theta equal i into cos theta minus 1 over i is uh, i put plus i sin theta. Now here from 1 we let y equal to cos theta plus i sin theta substitute here that is uh, dy by d theta equal i y. By cross multiplying we get dy by y equal i d theta. This is a differential equation by solving integrating both sides dy by y equal i into d theta. Now dy by dy over y integral is log of d y equal i theta plus the constant c. Now the equation 1 we have we equal we equal cos theta plus i sin theta let us put y equals 0 suppose now theta equals 0 substitute we get y equal arbitrary will get cos of 0 plus i sin 0 means y equal cos 0 is 1 i sin 0 is 0 therefore put the value in uh, log of e y is 1 equal i theta is 0 plus c so we got log e 1 is 0 equal i 0 is 0 plus c so we got the value of c equal to 0 so arbitrary value constant is c is 0 so substitute in uh, equation we get log of a c y equal i theta c 0 now we can get e power i theta equal y. We know that y a we let e power i theta equal y is we let cos theta plus i sin theta. A fancy relation we got which is called an Euler's formula. From the Euler's formula, we can derive now De Moivre's theorem. Euler formula tell cos theta plus i sin theta equal e power i theta. Now, now suppose we put alpha beta gamma for theta values now we can multiply the things so here cos alpha plus i sin alpha into cos beta plus i 
sin beta into cos gamma plus i sin gamma like it is up to n factors. Now, each one we can uh, by Euler's formula cos alpha plus i sin alpha is e power i alpha into cos beta plus i sin beta is e power i beta like that e power i gamma into dot 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 up to e power up to n terms okay n up to n factors n factors now we know that e power i alpha into e power i beta into i e, e power i gamma up to n terms we can write e power i is common alpha plus beta plus gamma plus dot 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 up to n terms here we know that cos alpha plus i sin alpha into cos beta plus i sin beta like it goes which is equal to cos of we can write uh, simplified form here which is equal cos of alpha plus beta plus gamma plus 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 up to n terms n plus i sin of alpha beta plus gamma plus up to n terms now put here put alpha equal beta equal to gamma up to n terms we can write all up to n terms therefore all are equal we can say alpha plus beta plus gamma plus up to n terms we can write equal n theta so therefore we can write by either swan now we can write e power i n theta equal e power i theta whole power n which is equal e power i theta by either swan is cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n now therefore we can write cos of cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n equal equal a uh, here e power e power i n theta you know that e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta therefore cos theta plus i sin theta whole power n so we proved de Morbius theorem for any index of n means uh, real index of n